transcripts, uh, an asteroid is heading our way and is due to pass between Earth and the Moon this evening. Yes, the asteroid itself is 50 metres in diameter, the same size as an Olympic swimming pool. It'll fly 17,000 miles above the Earth's surface, which might sound like pretty far away, but it's actually 14 times closer uh, to Earth than the Moon. So, mm. will we get to see will it? Will we get to see it? Let's ask this lady. You will know, space journalist and astrophysicist. Mm. Uh, Sarah, I can't even say it, never mind, <laughs> understand it. Sarah Cruz, hello. Hello. Uh, so, this is not going to hit us at all, is it? It's just that we know that we are in absolutely no danger of us hitting it. The, the chances of something like this, of this size, which is actually relatively small in terms of asteroids, is a one in 1,200 year event. Um, so, it is extremely rare. Ten years ago, um, scientists might not have even been, been able to spot an asteroid of this size coming so close to Earth. So, it really is rare and it's not going to hit us. We but need to stress that. It could hit a satellite. Um, there's only an incredibly slim chance that it could actually hit a satellite because what's happening is it's actually passing in between the belt where most of our weather satellites and communication satellites orbit and the Earth itself. So they orbit the Earth further out than where the satellite's travelling. So there's only a slim chance as it crosses their orbital path, that's the direction they travel around Earth, that it's actually going to hit mm. a satellite. Mm. But it's not going to happen. No. It, it's a very, very small chance. You can never say never with these sort of things, but it's not going to hit a satellite and it's not going to hit Earth. But the interesting thing, I suppose, for people like you is that it's coming so close in relative terms that you can learn what from it. It's, it's exciting, isn't it, in that sense? Well, there's so much we can learn from these sort of things because actually we don't know that much about asteroids and scientists, by observing it as it passes away from the Earth, can actually use a radar in the same way you use a radar in the ocean to learn more about the bottom of the ocean, to learn more about the shape of the satellite, the shape of the asteroid, um, what it's made of. And actually the material that asteroids are made of could be very important to scientists because they're around at the very beginning of the solar system, so it teaches us more about the early solar solar system mm. and also potentially how life came to be here on Earth. Mm. So really interesting stuff. I was intrigued, you said earlier, until about 10 years ago, we wouldn't have known that it was coming, which seems astonishing given its size. Well, actually, in asteroid terms, it's not very big at all. The one which killed the dinosaurs was around 10 kilometres across. So this mm. being around 50 metres, you know, the size of a swimming pool, it's not the size of an Olympic size swimming pool, it's not that big. So the point is NASA have been observing asteroids for not very long. So this um, science of studying and finding asteroids elsewhere, uh, which could potentially come near Earth, is very new. And we don't know about all these asteroids that are out there. OK, well, the thing is, we can spot Can't it. I think we, about about 7.30, I think, I understand that we might be able to spot 7.30 this evening. You won't be able to sit with the naked eye. No. Mm. But around 8 or 9 o'clock, if you're an astronomy with group or you've got binoculars. binoculars. Right, well, let's just see, because we'll need clear skies for that, won't we? Thank you very much, Sarah. Are we going to get